And now I want to turn you to a very significant passage. It's Galatians chapter 3 and verse 13. And it says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. Here we have the teaching that the curse of the law is lifted through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Now, in the last session, I spoke to you about the curse of sin and explained that that curse, which is death and all of the things that we read about in Genesis 3, that curse will not be lifted until the future life, and we read about it in the book of Revelation. But there is the curse of the law, which Christ has carried and is lifted now. He also carried the curse on sin, but that curse, the blessings, will not be fully completed until we get to heaven. But there are many ways in which the blessing of God comes to us on this earth before we get to heaven. Don't ever forget that. And the blessing here is speaking about the blessing of God that comes to us because the curse of the law is removed. And in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, uh, we have those curses, the blessings and curses for the, of the law. And it's this that Jesus has taken upon himself to set us free. So the Deuteronomy curses of chapter 7 and so forth, those curses are lifted from our lives. But the blessings that are mentioned there come to us through the Lord Jesus Christ. So as believers, the curse of the law is removed, but the blessing of the law comes to us because Jesus fully kept the law and obeyed the law on our behalf. So therefore, we are not blessed or cursed specifically on the basis of our good deeds, but we are blessed because of our faith in Jesus Christ, and we are blessed also because of our obedience that we have when we walk with Jesus. It's the obedience of faith. 